Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new design tutorial and today I'll show you creative social media post design about the classic cars and everything else and those are really nice if you follow my steps you will get the idea of making the creative post for the social media so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications if you already subscribe my channel please do like and share with your friends so let's start at first i'll go to the file and taking new options i'll take an artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and the color mode is rgb because of i want to publish it into the web if you want to publish or if you want to print it out you can go for the cmyk color mode in this case i am just keeping this one rgb color mode and giving here the social media So here hit the create button you'll get an artboard which is like a blank and after that going to the rectangle tool drawing some rectangle like this turning off the stroke giving some fill color like red and then press V for the like uh, here the move tool and press alter option button and just like this going to the like ash color and selecting this and making this one a little bit of bigger and here is the direct selection tool selecting upper side of this and press the shift and the left press of the arrow key okay that's good that's fine and press v for like a like move tool and press ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for the copy and ctrl f for the forward paste i'm making this one bigger really bigger so that's good and i'll make this one darker okay later and taking another like a rectangle or square shape which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and hit the create button and making into like that sending into the back layer please uh, watch my like uh, shortcuts what i'm using over here and making this one to the little bit of ash color that's good and selecting this one and this one and going to the shape builders tool over here and press alter option and deleting this portion actually like this and now i'll make this one into black that's good and rest of the thing i'll do now making this one downside i'm just doing this one because of this angle and this angle should be the match properly otherwise uh, it won't be the like a creative one so making this one a little bit of bigger that's good and going to the file and going to the place and build option i download a couple of png images from the clean png or like that and just placing it out like this and like flip horizontally that's good and another one going to the place embedded options or place and here's some png of the city and making this one bigger how about this okay that's good and sending it to the back side of the layer that's good and this one as well and now i will down the opposite a little bit because of city should be a little bit of transparent view that's good and this red and ash i could make this one bigger yeah that's good and i'll make this one into the multiply mode it will make sense because it's like a creative one so making the card a little bit of smaller and downside and this city should be like opposite down like this yeah that's good and you can just flip it up that's good it makes sense because of i'll write down something over here which should be visible and now going with the text tool making some text giving the text size like 200 that's good and going to the font which is the poppins font you can get this font free of cost into google and writing something 1960 that's good and making this one a little bit of bigger and placing over there sending into the downside by using uh, like a third bracket closing and opening which is really cool for me okay making this one a little bit of bigger and then i'll make the color like this 
are this is good that's good not like this yeah that's fine and then i'll write down something like classic or other things and now i'll treat this text properly all caps and here i'll make the size of the line gap between two letters i'll make just making the wheel okay that's good and two colors should give over here and i'll provide the darker one and here i'll give the less darker one which is like this yeah that's good it makes sense and now i'll write down something like a text like this so i should make this one proper way because like this i'll make this one 20 or 23 that's good and now i'll do that going to the text tool and selecting some areas like this okay that's good and now i'll make this one to auto okay again i should try this one it will provide automatically text something yeah that's good and making this one into the medium or light italic that's good and making the text color this and here should be uh, like a caption so here i'll take caption like about car that's good making this one a little bit of bold bold italic actually and a little bit of bigger it should be like uh, uh, multiply with the 1.6 that is for golden ratio that's good and the area should be a little bit like this and placing over there and aligning properly like this or you can align with these three things that's good and now classic car i'll take this one over here actually i'll delete the space between over there and making this one into like multiply and giving the opacity like this yeah that's good and here i should keep over there and this one actually i should place it up and properly aligned with that and giving a little bit of darker that's good yeah or you can make this one a little bit of more darker that's nice actually i should increase the opacity it will make sense and now it's almost done when i'll make this one a little bit of uh, multiply yeah that's good and then i'll give here the horizontal line like this and it should be proper black and sending into the downside of the layer so not too much yeah that's good okay making all the stuffs into the group before that i'll create something like a classic car it should be the white color and making it stroke stroke thickness should be uh, 1.5 actually not 5 1.5 that's good and just selecting this area and making into the upper side making it normal so i'll make copy selecting all the steps press ctrl or command and option button actually and ctrl or command d d and d it will repeat all the times yeah i'll select all the steps making it group going to the object and expand this one and okay so why i made this one expand because of if i keep it text it won't be like uh, if when i will make it small it will uh, increase the thickness of the border or the like uh, stroke border and that's why i'm making this one like that and placing it up over there and making this one into multiply or you can make this one into like uh, overlay so overlay is good for that and 
uh, you can keep this one normal if you want actually and then normal and making this one 72 percent opacity and making this one into the downside of the layer and all the background layer should be into the downside okay that's fine and if i make it overlay uh, actually these things if i make it overlay properly uh, with the black it will blend properly so you can make this one into the darker portion so that's good and if i keep the opacity 100 percent that's nice as well and now i'll increase the stroke that is two and i'll go to the x uh, like expand and hit the ok button so that's good it will make some uh, like uh, depth for this okay taking another like a uh, uh, square shape 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and hit the ok button taking into upper side of these and all the stops and making this one great clipping mask so our post is ready and save it out classic car okay that's good and i'll export this one into the jpeg options and size will be 2000 pixel 2000 pixel and hit the save button you'll get the jpeg over there and that's all for today if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is my signing out and stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye